What's up guys, Eric here and welcome to this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5 video. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the mid-season finale, mid-season finale, specifically Agent Coulson and what's going on with him and what we could see in the back half of the season. I'm going to tell you guys all my thoughts and opinions on what could be happening. And we still have a few weeks before the show comes back, so that leaves plenty of time for videos about the other stuff that happened in the first half of the season. There was a lot of things to go over. I don't want to try and cram it all into one video, so we're going to be talking about Phil Coulson here, so careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. this season. You've been warned. Let's get into it. Man, oh man, I love Agent Phil Coulson. Now, Coulson is the character who bridged the gap between the movies and the TV division of the MCU. He's been around since early on and has really become the heart and soul of this TV series. So last season, with the introduction of Ghost Rider on Agents, we were also formally introduced to Magic into the MCU's TV division, more specifically Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This was exciting, new, and different from anything we had before this. Now, although in the Marvel Universe, you know, magic is just another form of science, and it's still something relatively unknown to our characters, and it leaves room for things we wouldn't normally see. And at the end of last season, we saw Phil Coulson take on the mantle of the Ghost Rider to take down Ada, who is now alive in the real world with a multitude of inhuman powers granted to her in a mortal form through the framework and Fitz's help last season was crazy. If you didn't watch all of it please go back and watch it now one thing we know is that the spirit of vengeance didn't make this deal with colson to inhabit his body without a caveat However, we weren't let to know any specific details about this situation. Now, moving back into this season and our mid-season finale episode, Past Life, we see Yo-Yo talking to Yo-Yo in one of the coolest conversations we've had on Agents to date. And we find out that Coulson is dying and that the team will do something or they're supposed to do something to compromise everything to try and save Coulson. And Yo-Yo warns herself that the team shouldn't do this. It's going to be the downfall of everything. It'll be the end of everything. And this is kind of interesting because as she's telling herself this, she goes, I know this isn't going to matter because I remember this conversation. And yet here you are standing in front of me. So I know that no matter what I tell you, it's going to happen anyway. Basically saying that this loop is, is a stuck thing. It's not going to change. Nothing they're going, going to do is going to change anything, uh, which is very interesting. But she says that you can't save Coulson. He's dying. Don't try and help him. And as of right now, I only have two real theories on what could be going on with Coulson, why he is dying. The first is related to the Ghost Rider thing. Could he have a set amount of time left to live before the Spirit of Vengeance is going to take his soul and do whatever he's going to do with it? We don't really know what goes on in that dimension. We haven't really explored it that much. But we do know that there are some rumors that the back half of the season is going to jump back into the supernatural and introduce more characters from that part of Marvel Comics, including bringing back Ghost Rider because he's a fan favorite. And this would allow them to tell the story of Coulson and what deal he made with the Spirit of Vengeance. And in case you guys forgot, Ghost Rider was literally an unstoppable force last season. Anything he wanted to do... He just did it. Not even Quake could stop him. And ultimately, he was used to stop Ada, like I said at the beginning of this video, making him one of the most powerful characters that's ever been introduced on Agents, maybe one of the most powerful characters in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. So if he comes back looking for Coulson, this could put him in a weird position that Robbie Reyes, who knows the rest of the team, still has to go after Coulson because the spirit is commanding him to. And we know that he literally has to do whatever the spirit wants him to do, unless something's changed between now and the last time we saw him. Now, there is another possibility that's a bit more simple. In that same episode, Past Life, we see that Coulson is hit by a blade that's being used by one of the Inhumans that Cassius infected with that black goo that he used uh, in the last episode. Now, this could have caused some kind of infection or maybe an Inhuman ability that's been used on Coulson because of this. Either way, when he insists on Daisy coming back because he doesn't want to leave her there, he says he needs her to leave. This could be because he knows he's dying, and that may be because of his promise to Ghost Rider, or again, it could be because he knows that this substance is going to eventually kill him. Uh, but this could be the explanation. However, who's to say that both of those theories couldn't come to fruition? If the black goo from that Kree and human soldier is killing Coulson, maybe that's the catalyst for the Ghost Rider returning for Coulson. Maybe his promise to the Ghost Rider had something to do with his demise. Then, in fact, the demise would attract the Ghost Rider back to him, and bam, we have both situations being true, not just two individual possible things happening. So that is a possibility. 
But one thing I am just a bit concerned about is how would the show function without Coulson? Even with the agents having multiple lead characters, he is a staple character, much like May and Daisy. But Agents has been known to take major risks with characters in the past, not shying away of getting rid of a fan favorite. But let's be honest here, this wouldn't be the first time we've had to say goodbye to Coulson. We lost him in the film franchise in the Avengers movies um, to bring him to TV and give birth to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So it's not like Marvel has shied away from getting rid of this character specifically. But after bringing him back a second time, I don't know if they'd bring him back a third time, fourth time, or fifth time. But this is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They're not afraid to take risks, so anything could happen. This could be the end of Coulson, and those are my two theories. Do you think I'm right? Do you think either one of those could be it? Is Ghost Rider coming back to claim what is his, or is it the Black Cree goo that he was stabbed with in past life? Or is it a combination of both? Or do you have your own theories on this? Let me know in the comments below and expect even more videos about agents between now and their return. I have a lot of stuff I want to talk about. So we're going to cover a ton of stuff over the next few weeks. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll catch you guys later.